myself ketan m patel from mahatma gandhi institute of technical education and research center navzari electrical engineering department subject name is electromagnetic field second year fourth semester and today we discuss about the chapter number 2 static electric fields now syllabus content first is divergence theorem second one is absolute electric potential third one is potential difference fourth one is potential gradient calculation of potential difference for different configurations and fifth is electric dipole and sixth is electrostatic energy and energy density now divergence theorem gauss's law for electric fields state that the divergence of electric flux density d is equal to the volume electric charge density but the second equation gauss's magnetism's law state that the divergence of the magnetic flux density b is a zero so del into d equal to rho v and del dot b equal to zero so using this diver divergence theorem integration surface integration closed surface integration d into ds equal to integration of del into d into dv and comparing the two volume integrations 1 and 2 so rho v equal to del into d so this is the first maxwell equations and it state that the volume charge density is the same as the divergence of the electric flux density in basics divergence theorem is a, a basic concept of the divergence theorem is given that the divergence is a measure of the net outflow of flux from a volume element the sum of the net outflow from all volume elements of a 3d regions as a calculate from the divergence must be equal to the total outflow from the regions as a calculate from the flux through the closed surface bounding the regions a more formal statement of the this theorem takes the form of this equations here the v is a volume and rho v is, is a denotes the its bounding surfaces since the surface integral is to evaluate outflow the unit vector and is a must be the normal to rho v in the directions pointing out of v the divergence theorem continues to be valid even if rho v is not a single surface for example v may be a region between the two concept spheres then rho v consists of both spherical surfaces but because the n must point out of v it will point towards larger r on the outer sphere but towards smaller r on the inner sphere the divergence of the vector field in a space like the divergence theorem in a space the meaning of cult of divergence applications in electromagnetism gauss's law or we can say divergence theorem faraday's law or we can say stokes theorem and the divergence of the vector field in a space the divergence of the vector field f equal to the fx fy and fz and in divergence f equal to del x fx to uh, sorry rho x fx plus rho y fy plus rho z fz in a scalar field it is also used the notation div f equal to del into f divergence of a vector field measures the expression positive divergence or contractions of negative charges negative divergence of the vector field and in positives and is negative charges in divergence theorem more commonly known especially in a older literacy of gauss's theorem and also known as the gauss's astrology theorem is a theorem is vector calculus that can be stated as follow let v be a regions in space with boundary partial then the volume integral of the divergences del f of f over v and the surface integral of f over the boundary particle v or v related 
by the formulas. The divergence theorem is a mathematical statement of the physical fact that in the absence of the creations or destructions of a matter, the density within a region of space can change only by having a flow into the way from the region through its boundary. So divergence theorem is a most important. Here it is a important formula integrations as close integration of del into a into t s equal to zero. So integration of del into del cross a dv equal to zero then del into del cross a equal to zero which provides the identity because the volume is arbitrary more directly we can perform the required determinations del equal into del cross a so we put the value of these equations rho by rho x is in bracket rho a by rho a z by rho y minus rho a y into rho z plus rho divided by rho y in bracket rho x by d rho z minus rho a z by rho x plus rho by rho z in bracket rho a y by rho x minus rho a x by rho y. Then we solve the equations rho square a z by rho, rho x rho y rho square a z by rho x rho x and then finally the answer is 0. So where again the order of determinants differentiation does not matter. Now absolute electric potentials. The electric potential is the amount of work energy needed to move a unit of electric charge. In classical electrostatics, the electrostatics field is a vector quantity which is expressed as the absolute electric potential. Electrochemical potential or electropotential or electromagnetic fields. Here the electrical potential arising from a point charge Q at a distance from the charges is observed to be V E equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q divided by R square where is a epsilon 0 is a permittivity of vacuum so V E is a known as the Coulomb potential the electrical potential for a system of point charges is equal to the sum of the point charges individual potentials this fact simplifies calculations significantly because the additions of potential scalar field as much easier than additions of the electrical vectors fields. Specifically, the potentials of a set of discrete point charges Q1 at points R1 become VER equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 summations of QI divided by R minus RI and the potential of the continuous charge distributions rho r becomes v e r equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 rho into r dash divided by r magnitude of r minus r dash uh, into d cube and r dash so in electrical absolute potentials also called the electrical field potentials potential drop and the electrostatic potential so is the it is the amount of work energy needed to move a unit of electric charge from a reference point to the specific point in an electric field with negligible acceleration of the test charge to avoid producing kinetic energy or radiation by this test charge typically the reference point is an earth or a point and infinity although the any point can be used more precisely, it is the energy per unit charge for a small test charge that does not disturb significantly the field and the charge distributions producing the field under consideration. In classical electrostatics, the electrostatic field is a vector quantity which is expressed as the gradient of the electrostatic potential, which is the scalar quantity denoted by V or occasionally psi. Is it is equal to the electric potential energy of any charged particle at any locations measures in joules divided by the charge of the particle measures in coulombs 
okay so charge is a coulomb units by dividing out of charge on the particular a quotient is obtained that is property of the electric field itself in short electric potential is the electric potential energy per unit charge now this value can be calculated at either in a static or we can say time invariant or a dynamic or we can say varying with the time electric field at a specific time in units of joules per coulomb or volts the electric potential at infinity is assumed to be zero in electrodynamics when time varying field are present the electric field cannot be expressed only in terms of scalar potential instead the electric field can be expressed in terms of both the scalar electric potential and the magnetic vector potential the electric potential and magnetic vector potential together form a four vector so that the two kinds of potential are mixed under lorentz transformations now practically electric potential is always continuous functions in space otherwise the special derivative of it will yield a field with the any finite magnitude which is practically impossible even an idealized point charges has one upon r potential which is continuously everywhere except the origin the electric field is not continuous across an idealized surface charges but it is not infinite at any point therefore the charge potential is continuously across in idealized surface charges an idealized line charge has in potential which is continuous everywhere except on the linear charges the electric potential at a point r in a static electric field e is a given by this line integral the potential energy and hence also the electric potential is only defined up to the addition constant one must arbitrarily choose a position where the potential energy and the electric potential are zero the equations cannot be used the curl in the case of non consecutive electric field caused by changing magnetic field now a case for absolute electric potential electric potential is a scalar equal to the electric potential energy of any charges particle at any locations per unit charges and likewise the gravitational potential is the gravitational potential energy per unit mass okay now in coulomb's law let us the compute forces between the static charges if we find out what it means to do work in the electric field and develop formal definitions of some new concept electric potential energy electric potential potential electric force and electric field are vector quantities and electric potential turns out to be a scalar quantity now electric potential equal to work done by charges so v equal to w by q where w equal to 1 joules q is a 1 coulombs so v equal to 1 by 1 equal to 1 volt so the capacity of the charge body do work determines the electric potential quantity the measures of the electric potential is the work done to charge a body to 1 coulomb since the work done is measured in joules and charge in coulombs the unit of electric potential is joules per coulombs the unit of electric potential joules per coulomb or we can say volts <coughs> now potential difference uh in potential difference the work and potential energy force is an interaction that changes the motion of an object energy energy is the ability of the to do work when an object has energy it has the ability to do work when the force does the work on an object potential energy can be stored an object with potential energy has to potential to do work 
it's not doing work right now but it has the potential an object has potential energy by virtue of its position work and potential energy are closely related additional potential energy stored in object is equal to the work done to bring the object to its new positions you can brush up on the concept of the work and energy in more depth here it is field field it is a important point the field is a regions of space where we observe forces gravity electricity and magnetism creates field a field is a conservative if an object travels in a close path makes a round trip and no network is done against the force associated with the field gravity is a conservative when you lift a book up you do work on the book if you gently lower the book back down the back book does not work on you so the net amount of work is zero you can arise a lower and 100 times and if the book ends up in the original height the net amount of work is zero if you move the book horizontally the amount of work is also zero because there is a no opposing force in this horizontal directions so a static electric field is conservative no matter what path a charge object takes in the field if the charge returns to its starting point the net amount work is zero in electric potential energy resembles gravitational potential energy the behavior of charge in an electric field resembles the behavior of masses in a gravitational field just like gravitational potential energy we can talk about electrical potential energy for both gravity and electricity potential energy difference are what's important whenever your book starts out it has some potential energy when you move the book you add or remove potential energy relative to where it is started for moving charges you add or subtract the electrical potential energy relative to where the charge started if you wonder if an object is storing potential energy take away whatever might be holding it in place if the object moves it was storing potential energy and apple fall from a tree and conks you on the hand it had potential energy let go for charge in a electric field it shoots away it was storing electrical potential energy now sorry in electrical potential difference with another simplifications here is just a, a charge b and charge a okay so del v equal to vb minus va so work divided by charges and del p divided by charges the electric field and movement of charges electric potential electric potential difference now what is the importance of electric potential difference the electric potential is defined as the capability of the charged body to do some work when the body is charged either electric electrons are supplied to it or they are removed from it in both the cases the work is done the work is stored in the body in the form of electric potential thus the body can do the work by exerting a force of attraction or repulsion on the other charges particles uh, we come up with a new way to think about what's the going on in an electrical space the equations above the electrical potential energy difference expresses how the potential energy changes for an arbitrary charges when work is done on it in electric field we define a new term the electric potential difference or we can say removing the word energy to be normalized charge of electrical potential energy electric potential difference is the change of potential energy experienced by a test charge that has a value of positive plus 1 electric potential energy difference has unity of units of joules and electric potential difference has units of joules per coulomb now what is the electric potential we can give a name to the two terms in a previous equations of electric potential difference 
we can say there is an electrical potential everywhere in space surroundings it might seem strange to think about this is the property of space we can use the concept of electric potential to run this whole discussion in this reverse suppose we know that dial electric potential looks like in some region of spaces we can figure out of the work required to move a charge object between the two locations first is subtracting the starting potential from the ending potential to get the potential difference and multiplying potential difference by the actual charge of the introduced objects now another definitions of electrical potential and potential difference is the electrical potential is defined as the capability of the charged body to do work when the body is charged either the electric electrons are supplied to it or they are removed from it in the both the cases the work is done the electrical potential difference is is defined as the amount of work done is to carrying the unit charges from one point to another in an electric field in other words the potential difference is defined as the difference in electric potential of two charges bodies when a body is charged to a different electric potential as compared to the other charges body the two bodies are said to a potential difference both the bodies are under stresses and strain and try to attain minimum potential so the unit of potential difference is volt now the potential gradients calculations of potential difference for different configurations okay in electrical potential the uh, difference is the electric field and movement of the charges electrical potential and electrical potential difference in the this sections the concept of electrical potential was introduced electric potential is location dependent the quantity that express the amount of potential energy per unit of charges a specified locations here uh, the formulas are dw equal to f into dr or w equal to int uh, integration 0 to infinity f into dr and equal to integration of n to infinity f equal to k into q1 into q2 divided by r square into dr so okay now w equal to k1 into k2 integration of r1 to infinity dr by r square so final equation is q1 into q2 into integration of minus 1 divided by r r to infinity and final equation w equal to k q1 into q2 divided by r1 is a potential energy so this is the maximum work but q1 can do on q2 in publishing it from r1 to infinity in other words this is the potential energy that q2 possesses at r1 because of q1 now the define the potential that q1 has to at r1 divide both the sides of 1 by q2 so w by q2 and equal to k q1 q2 divided by q2 and into r1 so w equal to q2 equal to k q1 divided by r1 okay so the left side of energy per unit charge is that is called potential it is equal to the right side or the potential that q1 generates r1 from itself so v is the symbol of use for potential the units of v in si units is joules per coulomb whole of we can say volt finally if we use u for electric energy instead of w and formula for potential and potential energy become v1 equal to kq1 divided by r1 and u equal to kq1 q2 into r1 now these are the 
uh, another importance equations V A minus V B equal to work to move charge Q from B to A divided by Q. So V A minus V B equal to K into Q by R A minus K into Q by R B and potential energy of Q2 in the field of Q1 P equal to K Q1 Q2 divided by R1 and equal to V1 into Q2. Now V B minus V A is equal to minus integration of A to B E into D S so minus integration of uh, R A into R A to R B and K Q divided by R2 E is equal to K Q divided by R square into D R. So K Q and R square is a constant value and R A to R B. So K Q equal to 1 upon R B minus 1 upon R A. Here the uh, force is electrical field equations is F equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q1 Q2 divided by R square and in gravitational field F equal to G M1 M2 divided by R square. The field in the field strength in electrical field E is equal to F by Q or E equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q by R square and in gravitational field G equal to F by M or G equal to G M by F R and the potential difference in electrical field del V equal to del Q del W by Q in gravitational field del V equal to del W by M and potential energy of work done in electrical field W equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q Q divided by R square and in H equal to in gravitational field minus Z into small m into capital M divided by R. So these are the potential gradient calculations of potential type difference for different configurations. Now what is the uh, importance points of electrical potential is just such a scalar sum functions. Electrical function or electrical potential is the related to the work done by an external force when it transposes the charge slowly from one position to another in an environment in containing the other charge at rest. The difference between the potential at point A and the potential at point B it is the equation of Pa minus Vb. As not above, the electric potential is measured in watts since work is measured in joules. The positive charge and negative charge are considered the work involved in moving second charge Q from B to A. Along path of one, work is done to offset the electric repulsions between the two charges. If part two is chosen instead, no work is done in moving Q from B to C since the motion is perpendicular to the electric force. Moving a Q from C to D, the work is by symmetry identified as from B to A and no work is required from D to A. Thus the total work done moving a Q from B to A is the same for the either path. It can be shown easily that the same is true for any path going from B to A. Now, Electrical potentials exist at one location at a property of space. A location has electric potential even if there is a no charge particle here. And in electrical potential energy is a property of a charge object by virtue of its location in an electric field. Electric potential energy exists if there is a charge object to a that location. Now, electric dipole here in this figure uh, the uh, electric dipole is defined as the couple of opposite charges q and po plus positive q and negative q separately by distance small d here in this figure by default the directions of electric dipoles in space is always from negative charge minus q and positive charge plus q the midpoint of Q and minus Q is called the 
center of the dipole now what is the electric dipole the electric dipole defined as a couple of opposite ch ch charges plus q and minus q separately by a distance d the default of direction dielectric pole in a space is always from a negative charges q the positive charges q and the midpoint q and minus q is called the center of the dipole the simplified example of an electrical dipole is a pair of electrical charges of two opposite signs and equal magnitude are separated by distance here the po potential of the dipole is of most interest where r greater than greater than equal into d the standard approximations negative r minus positive r equal to d cos theta so r plus r minus equal to r square and the formula v equal to kq divided kq into 1 upon r plus minus 1 upon r so kq uh, in square bracket r, r minus positive negative r minus positive r divided by r plus positive r into negative r so for curves where r greater than greater than in, into d this can be approximately by v equal to kp cos theta by r square okay where p equal to qd is defined as the dipole moment now uh, visualizing a electric uh, dipole here the negative charge and positive charge and the distance of electric dipole is 2a suppose that that are two charges the of equal magnitude separately by a distance d a let first change the negative and the second charge changes positive charges this combinations can be called an electrical dipole therefore we can say that the electrical dipole is created by combinations of equal and opposite charges by a separation of a certain distance an electrical dipole is denoted by the symbol of rho we know that the electric dipole is the produce of the magnitude of the charges multiplied by the distance between them and this can be mathematically represented as for in dipole an electric dipole deal with the separations of the positive and negative charges found in any electromagnetic system a simple example of this system is pair of the electric changes of equal magnitude but opposition side separately by some typically small di distance a a magnetic dipole is the closed circulation of an electric current a simple example is a single loop of wire with constant current through it a bar magnet is an example of a magnet with a permanent magnetic dipole moment now the different molecular dipoles the many molecules have such dipole moments due to the non uniform distributions or positive and negative charges on the various atoms such as the in this case with polar co components of these like a hydrogen fluoride where electric electron density is say unequally between atoms therefore molecules dipoles is an electric dipoles with the inherent electric field that should not be confused with the magnetic dipole which generates a magnetic field the physically chemist uh, was the first scientist to study the molecule dipoles and a uh, consequence dipole moments a measure in the unit name tape in this honor the molecules there are the three types of dipoles permanent dipoles instantaneous dipoles induced and induced dipoles now the dipole moment the electric dipole moment for a pair of opposite charges of a magnitude q is a defined as the magnitude of the charge times the distance between their 
and define directions is towards the positive charges it is the useful concept it atoms and molecules where the effect of charge separation are measurable but the distance between the charge are too small to the easily measurable it is also used full concept in dielectrics and other applications in solid and liquid materials so it is the uh, different types of electric dipole now electrostatic energy and elect energy density electrostatic energy equal to work done to assemble the charges configuration of a system in reference zero energy when all component charge are widely separated here is a figure bringing a q1 in a place takes no work and equation is w1 equal to q1 into v0 and 0 then bringing in q2 takes then bringing in q3 takes so the total electric energy u equal to w1 plus w2 plus w3 equal to k by a in bracket q1 into q2 plus q2 into k3 plus q3 into q1 so uh, in electrostatic energy electric density is a defined is a total num amount of energy in a system per unit value for example the number of calories per gram of food foodstuffs that have low energy density provide less energy per gram of food which means that you can eat more of them since their fewer fewer calories it is denoted by u in case of electrical field or capacitor the energy density formula is given now electrical electrostatic energy consider a collections and static of charge the located positions vectors what is the electric energy stored in a such a collections another way of asking this is how much work would be have to do in order to assemble of charges starting from initial stage in which they were all are rest and very widely separated electric potential energy is a potential energy measures in joules that results from conservation or coulomb forces and is associated with the configuration of a particular set of all points charges within the defined systems and objects may have electric potential energy by value of key elements its own electric charge and its relative positions to the other electrically charged objects here it is another uh, view of point work is required to assemble a change distributions q1 q2 q q2 and q3 the same distance a so w2 equal to q2 into v1 and q2 equal to k a1 into a k q1 into a and w3 equal to q3 v1 plus v2 so q3 equal to kq1 by a plus kq2 by a so same as the work done w equal to w2 plus w3 kq1 q2 by a plus kq1 k3 by a plus kq2 k3 by a and the energy density u is the energy per unit volume for electric field u epsilon e equal to one half epsilon zero into e square in magnetic field u b equal to one half mu zero b square since b equal to e by c and c equal to in under root mu zero into e zero where u b equal to u e one half e zero epsilon zero into a square is equal to b square divided by two mu zero so these are the formula of electrostatic energy and energy density another importance formula the electrostatic energy density w is defined as w e equal to one half epsilon e square so w e equal to integration of w e into dv and e equal to minus del into phi f equal to q into e and w equal to integration of p to q f into dl and 
equal to minus q integration of f to q into e into del and equal to q integration of p to q del phi into del l and so q equal to in, uh, in square bracket q phi into q minus phi into p so phi r equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 q dash divided by 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r minus r square and w2 equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 in magnitude of r2 minus r1 and v3 equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 in bracket q1 q2 divided by r3 plus r1 plus q3 q3 divided by r2 minus r3 r3 minus r2 so these are the different types of equations okay thank you